Okay, I see. I I see a question from Basam. He says, uh, "Kay Sensei, in USDC AD on the monthly time frame, is it showing Kumo Kijun Sen down and Inventor Hammer Candle? Um, oh, sorry, Inverter Hammer Candle, which I think indicates a bearish movement this week. What is your comment? Um, let me see." Uh, USCCAD and uh, the monthly time frame. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yes, monthly time frame shows. Yes, Kumo Senko Span A is down. I'm sorry, let me sorry share screen. Okay, yeah. So um, it shows the monthly Kijun Sen is down. Uh, Kijun Sen is down. Tenko span A is also down. Chikou span below candles. So this is bearish on the monthly time frame. And usually, in general, when you see this Kijun Sen angle down and also long wick, I think this is what you call um, inverter hammer candle. And when you see this, this shows that there is a strong resistance here. So it may be bearish. Yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, the month of August can be bearish. It's possible, yes. But if monthly, uh, if the month of August candlestick closes above the ten, above the Kijun Sen, then it goes. I think it goes up to the monthly Kumo. But for now, it closed below the Kijun Sen in the month of July, so this is still bearish. And I think Kijun Sen remains down. Um, Kijun Sen remains down in the month of August and September. So that means this uh, single span A continue, continues to be down. Uh, but let's see, it might, there may be a Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross in August. Let me check. Tenkan Sen takes the nine candles for the last so nine candles. Previous was here. That means Tenkan Sen is taking Tenkan Sen is taking the high here and the low here. So okay, Tenkan Sen remains up on on August, and uh, Kijun Sen remains down in August. So we might see gold cross Tenkan Kijun Sen. Let me let me cancel the candle. Because this is important, so let me just uh, mention this. So, Tenkan Sen goes up, Kijun Sen goes down. So, it may be gold crossing. And if it gold crosses, uh, when market opens tomorrow on Monday, then um, it may range. But, if this gold cross doesn't happen tomorrow, when market opens on August Monday, then um, I think the market goes down continuously. So, yeah, let's wait for the market opens tomorrow and see if we have gold cross or not. I think uh, there are some gap in between Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen, so it may not gold cross. But we'll see. We'll see. I think this is a good example. Of the of this uh, of the of whether the market will be resisted or or uh, not based on this uh, Kijun Sen angle. So that's one way to look at. Actually, you can tell exactly whether we have Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross or not. Um, let me be precise. Yeah, let me show exactly how. How much Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen will be going up and down tomorrow? So Tenkan Sen takes a high and low for the last nine candles. So Tenkan Sen is taking this low. But tomorrow, when market opens, Tenkan Sen takes the second second low here, second the lowest for the last nine candles. So Tenkan Sen moved this much. So Tenkan Sen is taking the 50 level here which is exactly 
Hold on. The Tenkansen level here, the 50 level. But Tenkansen goes up this much tomorrow. So tomorrow will be here. And Tenkansen moves uh, this much. Like this. So let me get this at trend line. Tenkansen moves this much. Okay? So this is how Tenkansen will look like tomorrow. And as for the Kijun Sen, Kijun Sen takes for the last 26 candles. So let me redo. Tenkan Sen takes for the last 26 candles high and low. That means 26 candles back was here. And high, it takes this high and also this low. Okay? So, Kijun Sen, sorry, Kijun Sen co goes down continuously. And let's see how much Kijun Sen goes down. Kijun Sen tomorrow will take the high here, the second high, which is here. So, Tenkan Sen, sorry, sorry, Kijun Sen. So, Kijun Sen is taking the 50 level, which is this one. The mid price for the last uh, 26 candles high and low. So Tenkan Sen is uh, sorry, Kijun Sen is here. Sorry, I'm keep I keep saying Tenkan Sen, but this is about the Kijun Sen, the green line. Kijun Sen is here. And tomorrow, when high gets lower for the last 26, then Kijun Sen goes down this much. Okay, so that means Kijun Sen goes down like this, exactly to here. So, when you look at this, looks like there is no gold cross yet tomorrow. Yeah. There is no gold cross yet. So, yeah, that means the market may be resisted and continuously goes down in the month of August. Yeah, because there is no gold cross in the month of August. So, let me just put down a row on this because that's my expectation. But of course, this is not 100% true. This is this can give you some extra confirmation that the market goes down. If you if you see the market goes down, then it, this was a reason. Yeah, but this is uh, an example of how you can foresee the future Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen angles. If you know the calculation, you can do this actually. Sometimes you see Kijun Sen flat, but uh, I can expect exactly when Kijun Sen or Tenkan Sen turns bullish or bearish by doing this. So I think I thought this is a good example, and that's why I share this to everyone. I hope you get this idea, and uh, you can actually do this on your own and see future Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen angles. And this you can predict. You can actually do this in the future because this is about the calculation we can't we can't predict the future price markets price moves we can predict the future Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen angles like in this way thank you for watching the video until the end and before ending this video I would like to add one more thing that is important in psychology and this is my favorite and the proverb is never try to get a head and tail of the fish and only get the body part of the fish because that's where the juice is. And what this really means is that sometimes you may try to capture the pips from the beginning until the end of the trend. And but you have to remember that that is impossible to get all the pips from the beginning until the end. You can only get the body part because that's where the juice is. And that's why whenever you see trends, you better think where is the head and where is the tail of the big fish of the trend and only try to get the body part. So that means uh, you can, after you confirm the trend happening, you enter the market, but that will be too early. You have to confirm the trend, continuous trend, uptrend or downtrend, but never try to get the beginning of the trends. Also, whenever the market 
goes flat in sideways after the big trends, you never exit just because the market retraces. That retracement might still be up temporary and the market may go up continuously. But sometimes the market goes backwards heavy and maybe reverse in wave, maybe some kind of reverse confirmations and the market starts to go down continuously. Then you exit there with some profit. So never try to get the head and tail of the fish is actually that is very important. And my strategy is built in this way. So hopefully you stick to this idea and become a successful trend follower. So until I see you on the next one, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.